Hey there, this is Joe Bonamassa here at Guitar World, and this is my lesson. I discovered Paul Kossoff from a gentleman, the late great Pete Way, bass player for UFO. And a little known fun fact about myself is that when I was 17 years old, I auditioned for Michael Shanker's gig in UFO. I did not get it, um, and, uh, but I did meet Pete, and he was very kind to me, and we maintained a friendship throughout the years. And he mentioned to me on that day I auditioned that my vibrato reminded him of Paul Kossoff. And I said, what's a Paul Kossoff? And he goes, oh, you've never heard of Free? With Paul Rogers and Andy Frazier and Simon Kirk? I'm like, no. So he goes to his CD wall and makes me a cassette tape of Free. And the first song I heard was Walk in My Shadows, you know? <laughs> And I heard this vibrato that went, you know, and it blew me away. And I was like, what is this sound? And that was the beginnings of my affinity for and longing for the, the ubiquitous sunburst Les Paul that all the English guys had. If you were one of the cats, you, you, if you were Jeff Beck, you had a sunburst. Clapton had a sunburst. Paul Cossop had a sunburst. He had several. I think he had three at one point. So it created this journey where I loved the simplicity of his sound. I loved the simplicity of the vibrato. The heaviness with Free was the marriage of Andy Frazier's bass playing, who he had a Gibson SG bass, and he played through Marshall. So did Paul Kossoff. He played through Marshall. And they would do, you know, but the chords were really simple. So he would have these, like, really simple chords that fit really well with the bass. And then you had Paul Rogers and Simon Kirk, who Simon Kirk's a very meat and potatoes drummer, very simple. And then you have Paul Rogers, who is one of the greatest rock and roll singers of all time. But like you, you could you could really get into the the Kossoff thing with these little chords, you know. sounded like the guitar was just about to give it up, but it never did. And he had this wonderful feel and this wonderful phrasing, and um, arguably one of his best sounds that he ever achieved was on a German television show, and he had like an orange stack that was on the floor, and this stripped Les Paul thing, and it just, it just knocks your socks off. So do yourself a favor and check out the entire free catalog. Because, and Backstreet Crawler as well. There's really, really good stuff there. And you'll really, really um, love the simplicity of what they were all about. And you'll, you'll get some really good, you know, you get some really good vibrato out of it too. One of the great songs that um, you really should listen to is Fire and Water. Um, it's really a great example of very simple chords done extremely effective. And the little example here before they cut us off on a trademark is. You know, it was really, really, really simple. Um, I'm trying to vary the lick a little bit for, for our purposes here in the video. So don't, don't complain that it's not exactly correct. Um, I did get to play Fire and Water with Paul Rogers at the Beacon Theater in 2011, and it was the thrill of a lifetime. And one of the things that I did notice about any pro singer who complains about the monitors, Paul didn't use one. He just grabbed a microphone and sang Pitch Perfect. Next time you complain to the monitor guy, remember that little story, that he didn't need one. He's that good. 